Hi, my name is Sarish Gia Camille Garcia from Caraga State University. And for this video, I will be making plants and animal cell out of edible materials. Let's start! The edible materials that I will be using in this activity are gelatin, egg white, egg yolk, onion, oats, green beef, red chewing gum, green chewing gum, mentos, spaghetti sauce, banana, mayonnaise, black pepper, and gusso seaweed. Now, let's start making our animal sound. The nucleus controls and regulates the activities of the cell and carries the genes, structures that contains the heredity information. The role of the central vacuole is to maintain the pressure against the inside of the cell wall, giving the cell shape and helping to support the plant. The nucleolus is a region found within the cell nucleus that is concerned with producing and assembling the cell's ribosomes. The endoplasmic reticulum can either be smooth or rough, and its general function is to produce proteins for the rest of the cell to function. The amyloplast is primarily involved in storing starch and detecting gravity. A Golgi body, also known as a Golgi apparatus, is a cell organelle that helps process and package proteins and lipid molecules. Mitochondria are membrane-bound cell organelles that generate most of the chemical energy needed to power the cell's biochemical reactions. The two main functions of chloroplasts are to produce food during photosynthesis and store food energy. Cytoplasm is responsible for holding the components of the cell and protects them from damage. Ribosomes receive information from the cell nucleus and construction materials from the cytoplasm. The plasma membrane or the cell membrane provides protection for a cell. The cell wall surrounds the plasma membrane of plant cells and provides tensile strength and protection against mechanical and osmotic stress. All parts and functions were mentioned earlier, except for lysosome. Lysosome is a membrane-bound cell organelle that contains digestive enzymes. The primary role of lysosome is to break down excess or worn out cell parts, and which may be used to destroy invading viruses and bacteria. Major structural differences between a plant and an animal cell. Plant cells have a cell wall, but animals do not. Plant cells have chloroplasts, but animal cells do not. Plant cells usually have one or more large vacuoles, which animal cells have smaller vacuoles if they are present. Large vacuoles help provide shape and allow the plant to store water and food for the future use. 